All right, Wildfire. Welcome to Friday. It's been a great week. It's going to be a great weekend. We got Murph coming up on Sunday and Monday. So one of our favorite events of the year. Hope you're having a good, happy, healthy week so far. And today's going to make it even better by doing this workout. Okay? So we're going to start again. All right, Wildfire, Coach Tiffany here. It's Friday. We have a great workout for you. Hope you're having an awesome week, and it's going to be an even better weekend and an awesome Friday because you're doing this workout. Here we go. Two rounds for quality. We've got jump rope for a minute. So if you've got a jump rope, go for it. If you don't have a jump rope, do some virtual jump ropes. If you uh, need to take out the jump, for any reason with um, noise, like if you're on a, in an apartment and you don't want to disturb your neighbor below, or for fitness level, maybe you're not um, jumping for any reason. That's okay. What I want is either fast feet or just a little march. Okay, just move that for one minute. Then we're going to work on a little bit of a dip and a, uh, like the jerk. We've got jerks for our strength, which is going to be a quick movement using your body to get your weight up overhead. So even if you've just got your thumbs right here, you're going to get down into this dip position, which is a little bend in your knee. Hips and shoulders are still in line. You're here. And you're going to pause for a second and stand up quick. Dip, stand up quick. Dip, stand up quick. Practice getting into that position and then driving hard through the ground and see what happens with that torso. We want that torso to kind of lift from the momentum you created with your legs. Then we're going to go into a strict press. Okay, whether you've got weight or broomstick or PVC pipe, you're going to straight overhead and back down. Okay, here's with the PVC pipe, straight up and down just getting room and stretch into your shoulders. You can do that jerk dip with the PVC pipe or that broomstick as well too. For the pistol progressions, there's 10, but you are going to have to do two of each. Whether you have pistols or not, work on these. Even if you are super far away from pistols, just working on your squat, these are going to be good to do as well too. So first two are going to be close feet. Bring those feet close together. The goal is to get down into that squat and come up. Work on keeping your knees and ankles together. Then you're going to go behind the ankle squat. So take one leg, that foot behind. If you need to put it a little bit farther behind on the ground, you can do that as well. If it's up off the ground, you're going squat there, switch, squat on the other side as far down as you can and working on that balance. Then you're going to go foot forward. So instead put that toe foot forward or just kind of have it out in front of you. You can put it on the ground to balance. And you're going to work on sending your hips back and doing that squat there. Toe back or forward, sorry. <laughs> um, then you're going to do heel forward. Okay, this is going to pull those toes up Push those hips back even more. You can even lift that leg up off the ground. There, tap and come up. Foot out, tap that heel, come up. So once you've done one on each side or two with that close feet, there's your 10. Then start back over at that jump rope, those jerk dip, those strict presses, and then those pistols progressions. If at any point, something that doesn't work well with those pistol protections, pistol progressions, then um, you can do this with a sitting on a chair or a box. So if I use this box, I can put my foot out, I can sit down, 
and stand up. Or with my two feet, I can sit down and then just work on standing up on one leg more than the other. Okay, so there's a lot of scales to this. And work wherever you need to. To work on being able to get better in your squat as well as more proficient in the pistol progression. For strength, we're going to do split jerk. So you can grab that PVC pipe or broomstick or lightweight or even just your thumbs. We're going to practice that dip. As we come up, we're going to jump or at least extend all the way. And then we're going to work on dropping into a lunge position. Goal is to be centered between your front foot and your back foot as far as your weight goes. Hips are right under your shoulders. From here, you're going to move that front foot back. Back foot is going to come to meet it. And you're going to reset with that bar or those objects back on your shoulders. Deep breath in, dip, jump, land. Front foot, back foot, down. Dip, jump, land, front foot, back foot, reset. You got five sets of three. And depending on the weight you have, you're gonna go up in weight. If you're just working this with a lighter weight, you can definitely do more reps. You've got six sets of three. So you can go either more sets or more reps. I would go three to five. And let's say you've got something like a bumper plate. You're still gonna stay here. Dip and punch. Right, so same movement. You're just getting into that lunge. Now a good thing to do in this especially if you've got lighter weight and you want to work on this skill even more, is getting into that lunge and then doing a couple presses holding in this position. It's going to get you stronger in that position and give you a little bit more stimulus as far as work goes if you don't necessarily have weight to go up in that split jerk or if you just want to get better at this skill. Being able to figure out where that midline is and uh, land there every single time. All right, and then we've got a fun wad for you too. We've got a 12 minute AMRAP with six push jerks. And I'll explain the difference of that with that split jerk here in a second. 12 alternating pistols and 24 double unders. Okay, so that push jerk, you're still gonna be doing that dip, jump, land. This time instead of going into a split, you're gonna go into a squat. Dip, jump, land. And a little squat. Ready? Dip, jump, land, and up. As you land, work on making sure that your shoulders stay over your hips. You're not here. You're straight up and down. Use that momentum of your legs, though, to help get that bar or that object up. Again, if you're using dumbbells, um, kettlebell, I'd go single arm. For that push jerk, you can go six each arm depending on your weight. If it's a little heavier, three each arm if you're doing single arm. Then 12 alternating pistols. Your pistol is a single leg squat. Your goal is to get all the way down in that pistol with only doing one leg. Now for me, I have to hold my leg to be able to work on that balance, um, which is okay still counts as a full pistol if you need to hold a weight or you can do one of those progressions that we warmed up with whether it's a leg behind the knee and down you're going alternating legs you can also if you've got something to step up on you can work on stepping up just with that single leg and coming down on that single leg then switch you can also do that sit and stand that we talked about in the beginning too Okay, leg out, sit down, stand up just on that one leg. Okay, challenge yourself to work on these one leg options. If you need to go to a regular squat and scale that way, you can absolutely do that. Then 24 double unders, two rotations of the rope, one jump. You can do virtual double unders. If you need to scale to singles, go 48. 
otherwise do the virtual where you're jumping and we're really turning around your wrist twice while you're in the air. If you need to not jump, you can get on the ground and do more of a flutter kick. Work that core and then you're working that speed in those legs. Or you can do fast step ups up and down on something small. Okay? That's your workout for today. Again, have fun with it. The, the, the work, no one regretted the workout when you do it. It's when you don't do it, that's when you regret it. Okay, even if it's a little bit spicy in between. So, either way, find a way to get moving today. If you do this workout, let us know how it goes. Join us online, join us in the gym. And we'd love to see you. We're working on getting you fit, having an awesome day and an awesome weekend.